chapter 59 to 61. But if some shall disobey what is stated by him through us, let them know that they will involve themselves in no small transgression and danger. But we shall be innocent of this sin, and we shall beg with earnest entreaty and supplication that the Creator of all may keep the counted number of His elect ones in all the world unbroken through His beloved Boy, Jesus the Anointed One through whom he called us from darkness to light, from ignorance to the full knowledge of the glory of his name, our hope resting on your name, which is the beginning of all creation. Open the eyes of our heart to know you, that you, alone are the highest of the highest ones, holy of holy ones, the one who humbles the pride of arrogant men, the one who destroys rationalizations of nations, the one who lifts up humble men and humbles the exalted, the one who makes rich and makes poor, the one who kills and makes alive, the sole benefactor of spirits and God of all flesh, the one who looks on the abysses, the one who inspects the works of men, the helper of those in danger, the savior of those in despair, the creator and overseer of every spirit, the one who multiplies nations upon the earth and have elected from them all those who love you through Jesus the Anointed One your beloved boy, through whom you have corrected us, made us holy, given us honor. We beseech you, Lord, to be our helper and protector. Save those of us who are being oppressed. Have mercy on the humble, Raise the fallen. Show yourself to the needy. Heal the impious. Turn back those of your people who wander. Feed the hungry. Redeem our prisoners. Resurrect the weak. Comfort the faint-souled. Let all the nations know you, that you alone are God, and that Jesus, the Anointed One, is your boy, and that we are your people and the sheep of your pasture. You made the everlasting fabric of the world manifest by the works of your hand. You, Lord, created the inhabited earth, the one who is faithful in all generations, righteous in your judgments, marvelous in strength and magnificence, the one who is wise in your creation and intelligent in establishing your works, the one who is good in the things which are seen and compassionate to those who put faith in you. Oh, merciful and pitying one, 
forgive our lawless deeds and our unrighteous deeds and our blunders and our mistakes. Do not count every sin of your slaves and handmaids. Instead, cleanse us with the cleansing of your truth and make our steps straight that we may walk in sacredness and righteousness and simplicity of heart and may do what is beautiful and well-pleasing in your sight and in the sight of our chiefs. Yes, Master, let your countenance shine upon us for good in peace, that we may be shielded by your mighty hand and delivered from every sin by your uplifted arm. And deliver us from those who unrighteously hate us. Give harmony and peace both to us and to all the inhabitants of the earth, even as you gave to our fathers when they sacredly called upon you in faith and truth, so that we may be saved, granting that we may be obedient to your almighty and all-excellent name. Also, to our chiefs and leaders on the earth. You, Master, have given the authority of the kingdom to them through your magnificent and ineffable might, that we, acknowledging the glory and honor given to them by you, may be subject to them and in no way resist your will. To them, Lord, give health, peace, harmony, stability, that they may administer the leadership given to them without offense. For you, O Heavenly Master, King of the Ages, give glory and honor to the sons of men and authority over the things on earth. Lord, direct their counsels according to what is beautiful and well-pleasing in your sight, so that, by piously administering the authority which you have granted them in peace and consideration, they may obtain your generosity. You, who alone have the power to do these good things for us, and other things more abundantly. Oh, we praise you through the chief priest and protector of our souls, Jesus, the Anointed One, through whom be the glory and the greatness to you, even now and from generation to generation and to the ages of the ages. Amen.